Hello and welcome to episode two. In this episode, we're going to carry on from where we left off. Also, don't worry, nothing in this video will take five hours. So if you wanted to go and do something, just pause the video, we'll wait. One of the first things to do is update the system. As since the release of Linux Mint you downloaded, there has probably been hundreds of updates. Go find the software updater and get it going like this. Don't worry, you can leave it running in the background while you do other things. Also, it won't force you to restart like Windows does. You can restart whenever you're ready. It'll come up with a list of programs that have updates. All you have to do is click the Install Updates button to get things going. It might pop up a window like this. Just click OK. It's saying that those updates need other bits updating too. You'll need to type in your really long secure password too, and then the process starts. You can just minimize it and go play with something else. If, like Scott, you don't like having your retinas burned out by all these white windows, you can change the color scheme to something else. Click the Start button and look for Appearance in the programs. It should look like this. Then just click on each one to find one you like. There are a lot to choose from. Some light, some dark. Note that this changes the window colors but not the top part of the window that it done elsewhere for some reason. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, this one looks nice. This program will also let you change the icon style to something you like. Next, we'll change the top of the window. This is done with the program called Window Manager. All the themes available are shown on the list. You just click on each one to see instantly what it looks like. So go find one you like. While we've been meddling with the color scheme, the updates have finished installing. Like I said earlier, it won't nag you to restart, and it won't restart by itself either. Have a browse through all the programs that come pre-installed. There's an entire office suite. You can even load Microsoft Word and Excel spreadsheet too. There are video players, music players, art packages. I might show you a few in later episode. Also, Go find the software manager. This allows you to take off programs that you don't want and install new ones. No more trawling the internet for a program. Just use this to find a program and just click the install button. There's all sort of programs and games and they're all free. On the next episode, I will focus on games in particular. Not these free ones but maybe you have a bunch of Windows only games. Well, they run on Linux just fine. You might have one or two that won't work. Anyway, I'll show you in the next episode. For now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button. Then sweep up all the pieces of the like button and put them in your recycling bin. In day is Thursday. See you next time for more Linux goodness.